Good evening, and welcome to a presentation of Peter and the Wolf, a musical tale by Sergei Prokofiev. Ukrainian composer Sergei Prokofiev began his long career as a child prodigy, writing piano pieces at age five and an opera at age nine. <laughs> now I want to introduce uh, today's performers. We have first Mary Chapman Flute. <laughs> I to stand so you see their, uh, how they're dressed. <laughs> Evan Tammon, oboe and English horn. <laughs> Can you guess with that nose who, what character he is? <laughs> What's oh, real oh, you'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Chair, clarinet. Terry Marr, bassoon. <laughs> and Stephen Burian, French horn. Now the characters in this story are Peter, the bird, the duck, the cat, grandfather, the wolf, and the hunters. And they're all played by instruments of this woodwind family. Peter's music, or theme, is played by the flute, oboe, clarinet, and bassoon. sounds of the flute to imitate a singing bird. Let's hear Mary Chapman play the bird's music on the flute. The duck's music is played by the oboe and English horn, and it represents the quacking voice of the duck. Let's hear Evan Tammon play the duck's music on the oboe. music is played by the clarinet, and it represents the quiet steps of the cat's paws as it crawls through the tall grass to sneak up on the bird and the duck. Let's hear Daniel Chair play cat's music on the clarinet. <laughs> Father's music is played by the low, deep sounds of the bassoon. He is a kind, but he is very kind, but scolds Peter for putting himself in danger. Let's hear Terry Marr play the grandfather's music on the bassoon. <laughs> Stephen Burian play the Wolf and Hunter's theme on the horn, accompanied by the bassoon and clarinet. <laughs> Thank you. 
a big tree sat a little bird, Peter's friend. All is quiet, chirped the bird joyfully. to take a nice swim in the deep pond in the meadow. she said. To this, the duck replied, wah, wah, wah. what kind of a bird are you if you can't swim and dive into the pond? <laughs>
the duck quack, quack, quack angrily at the cat. such as he are not afraid of wolves. <laughs> twinkling, the cat climbed up the tree. Thanks. 
escaped the wolf. He was getting nearer and nearer, catching up with her. And then he got her, and with one gulp, he swallowed her whole. stood. The cat was sitting on one branch. And the bird on another. But not too close to the cat. Time, Peter, without the slightest fear, stood behind the closed gate and he watched everything that was going on. said to the bird, fly down and circle around the wolf's head. Only take care that he doesn't catch you.
worry the wolf. How he wanted to catch her. <laughs> but the bird was cleverer, and the wolf simply couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> by the tail, and he pulled with all his might. <laughs> Feeling himself caught, the wolf began to jump wildly, trying to get loose. <laughs> said, don't shoot! Bernie and I have already caught the wolf. Now help us take him to the zoo. Thank you. 
procession, Grandfather and the Cat. Now, Grandfather tossed his head discontentedly. Well, and if Peter hadn't caught the wolf, what then? <laughs> such a racket that the wolf spat him out. And the duck lived to quack another day. <laughs> <laughs> 